Hello, good morning. Good Hello. morning. I've got Jules here. Hello, Hello. Jules. Hello. How are you? I'm very well. It's lovely to be back. Thank you. It's lovely to have you back. Uh, now, last time, we obviously we, we did our show. It wasn't quite live. It was almost live. It was, yes. Not but you were doing live. other things at the time. I was, so. I was, I was. Yeah. Um, Pretty exciting. That was the day that the Tilda interview happened. Yes. Um, so thank you very much for being a good no, sport for doing right. that. But here, it's actual, I mean, like, I poke you live. I know. And there. yes. <laughs> just check, just <laughs> checks. Yep, definitely, definitely live this morning. We are, yes. With mm. a brand new pattern. Exactly. Hooray! Yes, first one of the year, hot off the press. Literally um, hot literally off the press. Literally hot off the press. I'm going to yeah. show you, because this is the Paulina. Now, normally, it's named from Shakespeare. She is from Shakespeare. Which one? The Winter's Tale. Yes. Yes, yes, of course. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Here we go, let me show you here. Um, what are you going to do when you run out of Shakespeare-based names? I don't know. We'll have to make them up, I think. Or maybe we'll actually start doing blokes' names. Who knows? Well, maybe. I'm sure there must be some more fairies or something. I'm sure there are, yeah. We maybe I don't know, Greek heroines or something like that. Hey, well, didn't know. King Lear have quite a few daughters? We've used two of them. Oh, <laughs> running yeah. out! I don't know whether we want to go for Goneril or not. <laughs> I don't know. So, yeah. Sounds unfortunate. <laughs> no, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> maybe not. Paulina's nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, much better. Let's stick with Paulina today. Um, now, give us a spin because okay, you are, you are, you are I'm in wearing Paulina. it today. Take yes. a little step back, give us a go. little spin. Now, it's got, which I really like, these little kind of cute mouse hole pockets. Nice. And the whole side seam kind of swings forward, so it gives a really sort of a tapered look to it. Does. it. And it's got raglan sleeves as well, which are dead easy to make. So a raglan sleeve basically means there's no sleeve inserting. Exactly, yes. You haven't got an armhole and you're putting the sleeve into it. It's actually a kind of a diagonal seam that comes yeah. from underneath the arm up to the neckline. Here you go, spin to the side so we can, we we can see that. So from there, there, there down there. That's it. Nice! Nice, because these are the things people fear. Exactly, sleeves, I know they are a bit of a nightmare, but actually the raglan sleeve is really nothing to be frightened of. So for me, having been a swimmer at one point, big shoulders, um, things don't always sit, that, you know, especially if there's a sleeve exactly. inserted, yeah, yeah. it can be a bit, mm, a bit, a bit tight. Yes. Raglan's perfect. It is, perfect. absolutely. And yes. it's stretchy as well, so it makes it even easier to wear and be a lot lovely. more comfortable. Lovely, lovely. Um, now, this is on the website for you. The details down there, www.natashamakes.com. Something has changed a little bit, hasn't it? Yes. What? Now, we're kind of gauging what people think about this, but we've actually changed the colour of our instruction booklet. Controversial. I know. So we thought we'd give it, give it a go. So let us know what you think. If you find it easier to read, then that's brilliant. So or if it's a bit more confusing, let us know. We're happy to... From what to what? Well, before they were always kind of like an off-white or a cream colour. Okay. With black type on there. Yeah. And then we greyed out sections just yeah. to make it easier to see. But what we've done this time is actually incorporate our kind of well, let's Air Force go close. Blue. Let's have a look. There we nice. go. So we've actually got... There we go. I'm there. Trying to find the right oh, yeah. angle. Opposite, opposite way. Opposite That's way. it. Yeah. So we've actually coloured some of the things. So you can actually see now oh, and make it a little bit easier to see which oh, is like the right that. and the wrong side and things like that. So hopefully it will make it easier to understand. But do let us know what you think because obviously we want to make it as easy as possible for you guys to yeah. work with. Well, that's so, the whole thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And that's the nice thing because we design and produce everything. We can be reactive to yes. what other people want us to do, which is great. Now, your paper is not ordinary paper, no, is it? This no. isn't. This isn't the case of going to IKEA and getting the the paper that I use for the kids and no. just you know like printing a bit off. No, done. this is really <laughs> nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is um, sixty GSM proper paper. So it's a bit lighter weight than normal printer paper. But it's, but it's not as light as some of the tissue paper no, that you, exactly. you know, you, yeah. you're scared to use. Yeah, but you can trace mm. over it as well, so you can see through it underneath. Yeah. So it does make it much easier to use. Now, the other thing with your papers is it's Italian paper. I mean, it, this isn't just any old paper. No, that this is just really nice quality stuff. Yeah, yeah, okay. it's good. And it also means that if you want to weight your pattern rather than pin it, 
it's a lot sturdier. It's yes. going to actually stay in place. Yes. So it's mu much, much easier to work yeah, with. Yeah, because otherwise you've got a breeze and you've got to have 20 million yeah, pattern weights. Wafts and off everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 mm. no, 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 no. Um, so we're going to be working with this pattern today. Yes. Hooray. We're going to be using an overlocker. Do we have to have an overlocker? No, absolutely not. You can use a normal sewing machine. Okay. It makes it much easier if you've got a walking foot. Okay. Which, whatever make of machine you've got, you'll probably be able to get hold of one. Um, and I'd also use a jersey needle or a ballpoint needle as well. Right. So okay. that's, that's quite key. If you do want an overlocker, I've taken £100 off the price of ours. Not mine. Like, I'm not selling my one because that's mine. No one's getting that. I, I may me. have to leave yeah, it later yeah, yeah, because yeah, it's yeah. an air thread and it's you. lovely. Yeah, I Unfortunately, it won't fit in my bag though. So, yeah. We've checked. Um, yeah, there's £100 off the price of it for you today if you fancy getting yourself an air locking, uh, an air threading overlocker. If you are in two minds, if you are wondering, well, what is so special about this beast? If you go onto our website and just find it on there, there is a link to a two-hour special. Ooh. Yeah, Gary and I did Ooh. on the overlocker. So you can get lots of different ideas for different types of seams that you can they do are with it. Brilliant, aren't they? Yeah, the fluffy yeah. nylon so yep. that you can do decorative edges. I was thinking your Bianca coat with a decorative. Ooh, yes. Nice. Yeah, just yeah. throwing it out there. Yeah. They're um, brilliant actually. They'll take your sewing up to the next level. They absolutely. Really will. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm now not afraid to wear things that I've made yeah. because I've overlocked them. <laughs> Whereas before, always a slight doubt, having had two minutes before going to wear a trouser situation, not even in a pair that I'd made. Oh, no. But yeah, 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 yeah. Where obviously they hadn't double stitched. Yeah. Anyway, um, yes. it would have been a wardrobe malfunction. Not a um, good look. No, 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 no. So no. I am paranoid about that. Um, you won't see me doing any excessive lunges or anything <laughs> on air uh, since that. Not that I used to do a lot before, to be fair. No, 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 no. no. That's best kept for the gym, really, isn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Although this Saturday, fencing club starts again. Oh, blimey. Yeah, there'll be lunges galore, let me tell you, as I are. <laughs> There's me saying that I don't. And You're yet, just a bit too active, you are, aren't I've you? You make the rest of us look really lazy. <laughs> oh, it's Freddie wants to go. Oh, oh bless. I could just imagine. He's so excited. Yeah. But actually his sister's given him a bit of a run for the money with the old swords. <laughs> she goes at him. She goes at him with a sword. Oh bless. Oh, she's vicious. Oh funny. She's small but she is fierce. A little bit of shakes before you. Absolutely. <sighs> Mid some <-Hatstream. sighs> Right. I've got various fabrics for you. I've got my sticky notes. Lovely. So we know what they are. So we know Perfect. what they are. Um, Perfect. Yeah, because otherwise. <laughs> yeah. Could be anything. <laughs> it could be, but, but this is a stripe. That looks really nice. Now, okay, so here's the thing. You've made yours out of a jersey. Yes. I've got jerseys for you. Um, how much fabric do we need? About two and a half metres. Okay. So, let me just double check, sorry. I need my double glasses now. I love the double glasses. Uh, Yep, two and a half metres will give you right the way up to the size 26 that we go up to now. Amazing. So that's brilliant. Excellent. Yep. Excellent. Okay, so with these, this is pinstripe. Yeah. Jersey. So this is going to be really smart. I think this would look really nice, actually. I mean, you could wear this to work. Exactly. Yeah, uh, but it's exactly. secret pyjamas at work. Well, yeah, I mean, What's so, not to love? it's only us, right? No one yeah, needs to know. Exactly. I'm thinking with leggings, maybe, or jeans. It's going to work either way. Yeah. A pair or of long boots. Really lovely bright coloured tights. Oh, yeah. A pair of long boots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would work. And Wouldn't it's got it enough nice? stretch in it as well, yeah. which would work really well. I, um, I'm a big fan of this, mm. I have to say. I think it's very smart and very lovely. Your designs look so different depending on what fabric Absolutely. they're in. They really do. So this yeah. is kind of quite a nice, relaxed, yeah. kind of, you know, mm. everyday, day to day. Suddenly it takes it up a notch. Yeah, makes it and a bit just special. just look how that, mm. yeah. That would... That would work really nicely. You could also play with the direction of the stripes as well. We've got another one which I thought about now. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. This is thirteen ninety nine for a metre, per metre. And it is 144 centimetres wide. That is exhibit number one. These will all be on the website. I'm lunging again. Now I can't <laughs> Just get stop. Just getting the practice in, I can't you? stop now. <laughs> and... Um, 
Uh, yeah, so that is all on the website down there and probably underneath where we're live on the website, yes. I would imagine. But Josh has probably he's been beavering away. He's putting all he? the bits and pieces up there, yes. Controversial. Okay. I'm just throwing it out there. Scuba is very, very popular it right is. now. It is. It really is. I know that you're not the massive, massive scuba fan. And that's okay. And I will be honest and say, no, I'm not. But, lots but the are. prints that you get with scuba Oops. are absolutely gorgeous. And this is lovely. It really is. It's probably upside down as well. Back to front. There we go. There we go. There we go. Now, this is 150 centimetres wide. And the nice thing about it is you can use it for swimwear too. Oh, yeah. I could imagine a cozy in there. Yeah. Actually, that would be quite And nice. actually, that would, because if, if that was done tight, yeah. Yeah. then that would hold everything in. It would. Absolutely. Yeah. We've got, a, we've got a weekend away with the kids at Centre Parks, and Ooh. I'm looking for something that's going to hold everything in. You're going to need one of those, especially going down those water slides, let me tell you. Yes. Yeah, thank goodness for an A-blocker. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is suitable for yeah. gym wear, swim wear, all of that. This would um, look nice, actually, especially if you just did a plain black on the for the neckbands yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, would be yeah brilliant, you've got your contrast. Mm. Um, and also, what I liked about it was actually how it draped. Yeah, it hangs beautifully. So I know that you are a natural fibre kind of a gal, but... I cannot tell a lie. Yeah, and that's fine. But I think this would work really well. Um, but if you wanted a slightly different option, because it's going gonna, it's gonna to look different, isn't it? Yeah. And I just thought, so along that way, I'll get the scubas out of the way then. Uh, yeah, that was a 10, oh, 10 .99 Well, that's not bad, is Per it? metre. That's very good. There we go. Yeah. Uh, as is this one. So this is a pink rose scuba. It's kind of a bit light, well, it sort of feels a little bit lighter. Mm, that's pretty, actually, It's isn't very it? pretty. Really nice, especially going into the spring now. Well, that's just it. So I wanted to bring a variety of fabrics to mm. air. Um, this would be really nice. Yeah, that would take you, because this is yeah. a pattern that is going to take you through the year. Absolutely. And yeah. this is what we promised you, mm -hmm. was something that you, once you start making, you could make for all seasons. Exactly, and that's yeah. the whole point, isn't yeah. it, really? Yeah, absolutely. So this is a slightly lighter weight, but it's pretty... Oh, let me know, drape lovely. it on you. There we go. Lovely. It's a nice soft colour, actually, it for is, skin actually. tones. Yeah, it is. I could wear that. Yeah, And absolutely. I'm really pale skinned, so yeah. I think that's gorgeous. And that's, again, uh, this one, is, this is 10 99 again. And 150 centimetres wide. That's good. Now, yeah. maybe you've got other projects that you might want to use it for. And mm. again, can be used um, for swimwear, which feels really weird saying that about something you'd make. Know, a, yeah. But it if you when I go to warehouses, scuba is everywhere now. Yes. It's so mm. popular. Right, that's the scuba section done. Okay. We talked about directional prints. Yes. Okay, and I said to you when you said you might want to do your sleeves in an opposite direction, bringing out this nice. one. This is a striped jersey. This is 160 centimetres wide. Yeah, That's that might cool. do horrible things to your screen. So I'll just waft it a bit. <laughs> it's nice, isn't it? It is nice, yeah. This is 95% polyester, 5% lycra. Yeah. So it has that stretch. It's 13.99 a mm. metre. Well, you could definitely, you know, neck bands, cuffs, you could change the direction of the stripes could there as really well. Really smart. Yeah, could look really, really effective, actually. So, effective, smart, mm. dress it up, dress it down. Very, very versatile. But also, never great on screen is a stripe. <laughs> That's so the problem, isn't it? I'll so, just move yeah. it to one side, which is a shame because the majority of my wardrobe, when I'm not on air, is stripes. Exactly. Another yeah. good stripe. Now, we talked about seasons. We did. So I give you our next exhibit, which is a floral knit. Nice. This is lovely, actually. And um, again, you see, it's got the to same tones that you've got in your top. Yeah, there, it hasn't has. It? Yeah. Yeah. And I thought, what about layering? Absolutely. Since yeah. having Emily, things are not quite where I left them. So I go for layers. <laughs> totally. To Totally. smooth and disguise the exactly. fact that things are a bit different but this is nice actually it's got quite an open knit to it which is so it's a little bit kind of transparent but if you're layering it well then i was thinking i wear vest tops yeah vest absolutely. tops and then something underneath and because yeah. of the length of this yeah i thought it would be absolutely perfect yeah that would be really nice 
There it's got go. one of my favourite colours in it as well. Uh, I'm going to guess it's yellow. Oh, uh, what, what? Yellow and purple. I mean, this is this is yeah. basically for you. Uh, it's eleven ninety nine a metre, and it's one hundred percent acrylic and one hundred and fifty centimetres wide. That's All lovely. of these are on the website so that you can look for them. I'll tidy up down there later. Um, now, cotton sweatshirt. Yes, because you like bog standard. Yes, yes, I do. I must admit. I like natural fibres. I just feel more comfortable in them. And, but this is lovely, actually, because it's nice and breathable. And now, it's really soft on the back as well. It's lovely and soft on the yeah. back. Should we show the back? Here we go. Dee -dee -dee. There. Mm. So it's got a slightly different texture as well. So that's the front. There you go. That gives you an idea. Could you then use that to do contrasty bits? I would, yeah. I would imagine if you, yeah. I think that would work quite nicely. No actually. reason why not. Yeah, because this is what I'm I'm getting used to is what what are like the rules with dressmaking. I know. Well, is if it you okay know, to yeah. do that? If you know what the rules are, you can you kind of bend them a little bit. Yes. Okay. Okay. So if you want to go, like this is safe, isn't it? This, this is a is really, a really safe, nice, yeah. navy. Wear it all year round. Yeah. Absolutely fine. Yep. But you could make it a little bit more interesting by putting some um, contrasting top stitching because oh, there yes. are options to do top stitching or cover stitch if you've got a cover stitch machine. So you could change the colour of threads for those. All options there. Yeah. 11 99 a metre. Bargain. Yay! Yay, yay, yay. Um, and it is 95% cotton. There's a little, there's 5% polyester. It's just holding it all together. That's fine. Giving yeah. it a little bit of stretch. And that is 137 centimetres wide. Brilliant. Next up... A pearl frotty jersey. I frotty, I, I love don't know that. If I've said that, right? <laughs> What's it meant? How's it meant to be said? I don't know. I don't know. I've never heard that before, but it, it sounds good. Pearl frotty. It? There'll be there'll be people in uproar, won't there? Going, I expect so. It's it's frotty or something. Um, I'm going to show this straight off, yes. nice and close, because this is nice. This <laughs> is a little bit more sporty, actually. I think. What do you think? With that kind of like PK kind of well, look to it, that because sort of texture. There, that is just, whoop. you can have that on the inside or mm. the outside because, check this out, that is your pearly bit. This is 90% acrylic, 10% polyester, it's 13.99 per metre and it is 146 centimetres wide. But look at that detailing in there. And That's the nice, nice thing is, you can do your contrasty bits. Mm. I've got all the technical jargon. Contrasty bits. Works. I love it. Works for me. Works for me. Um, so I throw that out there as yet another option. That's nice. Yeah. yeah. That would work well. It would, wouldn't it? Mm. That's what I'm thinking. Now. Next. I've only got two more. Alice Templey in Selfridges. Lovely. In Harrods. Yes. I've got it here now also at Natasha Makes. <laughs> <laughs> right. Whoops. Oh, there we go. Here we go. And this has got, I'm going to go straight in for a, for a close-up, Jules. in for the kill. I'm not, I'm not messing around here this morning. Look at that. It's got a, it's, it's got a... Texture. Yeah. Yeah, it's got tiny, tiny little pleats in it, hasn't it? Yeah. Which make it, makes it really interesting. It's a really interesting fabric, yeah. so I had to bring it to wear because I've never seen anything quite like it. Whoop. There you go. And again, classic navy and white. Yeah, which works every time, doesn't it, really? And it's temporary fabric. Yeah. Fourteen ninety nine. This is one hundred and thirty four centimeters wide. It's fourteen ninety nine a meter. A meter. Yay. And it's it's a jersey, mm. effectively. But with that, with that texture in it. Lovely. Dun, dun, dun. Drapes nice. It does. Actually, that would work. Look at, yeah. Looks amazing. Mm -hmm. And probably doing horrible things with your... <laughs> oh, this is the trouble, isn't it? There are certain fabrics I know, that they the camera just, just goes... Camera. <clears throat> I know, yeah. Uh, and yeah, lovely fabric. Last one. It's another pearl frotty. Here we go. This is nice, actually. Yeah. So this one isn't backed. The other was sort of yeah. backed, and this is unbacked. So let's have a little look ba -ba 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 at this. Yes. Yeah, that's definitely got 
a kind of a right and a wrong side, hasn't it? Or a contrast well, side. Well, that is your, that's your sort of pearly mm. bits Ooh, on the outside there. But there's no reason why you can't contrast it up. Yeah, I like that. It, and it looks a little bit more like a technical fabric. Doesn't you know, it? like sportswear-y kind of thing, which is quite nice, actually. Yeah. yeah. A bit more, I hate to say, a bit more modern. I'm sounding like my mother now, aren't I? But you know what I mean. Modern? <laughs> In this day and age? What are you talking about? <laughs> I like that. I'd wear that. I would wear that myself, actually. In fact, I may be, that bit may sneak out in oh, my bag really? later. Oh, yes. really? Um, it's 10% wool. Nice. Yeah, Ooh. yeah, yeah. And then there's acrylic in there too. Yeah. Okay, so that's what we're looking at. Lovely. Um, but I love the texture. I love that it's mm. not a solid colour. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah. Like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so this is down as your pearl frotty dark navy, unbacked. Lovely. Okay. Because um, the other one had a, it had yeah, that's kind of almost like a t-shirt, very thin single yeah, jersey. Yeah, which was why back, you didn't, didn't see it? the detailing on yeah. the back. So mm. this is the unbacked version. Dun dun dun. Right over to you. I'm done. That's fabric done. It's all on the website there, NatashaMakes.com. It's all underneath where we are live. So basically, you yes. go on the website, you see my face. Scroll down quickly. You don't want to look at that. Scroll down. Find all the interesting bits. It's all underneath. Yeah, marvelous. I'm, it's like I'm standing on them. <laughs> basically literally no. yeah i don't know it depends if i have to move over there right so, pattern yes right it's made with jersey yes now again we've got quite slim sleeves so one of the benefits to having a pattern that's got all of the sizes all in there the sizes. is that you can grade the sleeves up if you want to so if the fabric that you're choosing hasn't got a huge amount of stretch so what you want really is something that's got about sort of 15% stretch. So, and you can measure that mm -hmm. really easily. If you get a scrap of fabric and you measure out your 10 centimetres, say, yep. hold it for your, at your 10 centimetres and then pull it out and see where it stretches to. So if it goes to 11 and a half, you've got 15%. 15%. Yeah. Nice. If it goes to 13, you've got 30% stretch. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's a really easy way of working it out, actually. Um, or those have all got they'll, it. They'll be fine. They've they'll be absolutely it. fine. But again, if you want something that's got a little bit more stretch or you want a slightly wider cuff, you've got all the sizes included in the pattern, so you can decide whether or not you want to grade it up or one or two sizes. Yeah. So that makes it really easy. I find your patterns very generous in their sizing. They are, mm. yes. We, I'm... I'm built for comfort, not speed these days. It's all good. And actually, it's all good. our sizes relate far more to high street shops, right. their sizing, yeah. than um, dressmaking pattern sizing, or the traditional kinds of things where, you know, even if you measure a size 12, you need to cut a size 20, which is a bit ridiculous sometimes. But there we go. I have, I, well, I loved your patterns. I, Thank I, you. I, I went into hospital to have Emily in a pair of your pyjamas. <laughs> I love that. I think that's great. Which I made two weeks before uh, before she was due. <laughs> oh. Nothing else fit. I've, and I've still got them because I put enough elastic in. Brilliant. So you and just then, tighten up the elastic yep. and that's it. Done. Yeah, you're back again. And they're brilliant. And I've Fabulous. made so many pairs of those. Oh, good. So many pairs. We've got a workshop coming up, actually. Well, that's where I made them. Yes. In one of your workshops, yeah. you see. Yeah. Um, Come and join us. Yeah. No, they're great fun. Mm. And there was cake. There's always cake. Win-win, right? Calories win -win. consumed while sewing don't, don't actually count. count. This is my problem. They don't count. <laughs> they don't count. <laughs> Never. Right. So. Oh, no, it does look good in a blue. It does look good in blue. Right, I know everybody, everybody complains, oh, you know, all I wear is blue and I think I ought to go for something else. But mm, actually, but if you like it, if you like it, wear it. You can yeah. always dress it up or down with different colours, can't you? Of course you can. Yeah. Of course you can. I like your tights idea. Yes. Bright coloured tights. I like those, absolutely. I'm a fan of a long boot as well. I don't mean like an yes. over the knee boot. No, I can't do that a, anymore. Yeah, but just like a tall a, boot. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Sounds good. Sounds yeah. good. So I've got one that's kind of like part made. Okay. So you can Is kind of see. Is that where we're starting or are we? Well, we can backtrack. Okay. We can backtrack. So once you've got your fabric mm. chopped up, mm -hmm. I'm going to have to cough, I'm afraid. No, you do that. <coughs> Excuse me. So you've got. Um, the layout in here is pretty similar for all sizes. 
So you can, where are we? There we go. Away. There we oh, go. it's that way. There we go. So you can follow the lay plan. Once you mm -hmm. cut out the pattern in or traced off, whichever you prefer, you can then lay your pattern pieces on the fabric. So the lay plan is there to guide you, so that you can lay out all your pieces and make. Does sure that mean that you that get, you get the, the most out of your fabric? In theory, yes. Right. There are times, depending, because fabrics are going to In vary theory, slightly. Right. Yeah. You know, like we've got one that's 160 wide, one that's 135 wide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we kind of have to go on averages. Sometimes you can squeeze it out of a little bit less, but we kind of have to go with what's an average way of doing it. Okay. Because some people are more confident with cutting, others really prefer to have a little bit of space around each pattern piece. So that's fine. A note on cutting. Yes. And I know you've been a bit scared to use them, but excuse me for stretching. <laughs> is that is that edge cutter? <laughs> I love these. Absolutely love these. Mm. Because look, I can leave them around the kids. Yes. If I just take that out, they can't do anything. Yeah. And I think, and for me, when I put pattern weights on, yeah. I'm not having to lift the pattern because just. I tell you what, look, through. I've got a bit of scrap fabric here. Do you want to have a go? Yeah, 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 yeah. So if we wait, oh, no, those it, are my pockets. Don't oh, have those bits. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. They no, don't be do those bits. Disaster. We'd have to cut up some more. You can use that. Is that bit. scrap? Yeah, that okay. bit scrap. So just imagine. Oh, that was lucky. Whew. Did we have any pattern weights over there? Where did they go? There we go. So the point I'm trying to make is, and you know, electric scissors are, well, something that was new for me, they were flying out at stitches. Really? Absolutely, they could not keep them on the stand. Yeah. And I managed to reserve a few pairs, um, because otherwise they were, they were all gonna be gone. Absolutely. And here is for why. <laughs> Pattern down. Right, brace yourselves. Pattern down, ready to go. Normally with scissors, you have to lift, yeah. right? Me. Oh, look at that. Do you want to have a go? Speedy. Go on, have speedy, a go. Speedy, speedy. Oh, so how accurate could you... Oh, you should, yeah. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Game changer? Yeah, I quite like those. Bit scary yeah. to start off with, but yeah. But practice, you know. Look, I mean, look. That's how. That's how detailed you got it. Yeah. We digress. Ooh. They're on the website, um, and also if if you're someone that struggles. Yes, if you can't do the whole kind of scissors yeah. thing, then that makes perfect sense, yeah. doesn't it? And then you don't you're not having to move your pattern weights or anything like yeah. that. Yeah. How much are they? The scissors. Yeah. Uh, they're not cheap. No. But. Um, you're going to use them forever. Though, you're going to use them forever. Yeah. And uh, they were bought to us by Juki, by mm -hmm. the uh, the guys at Juki, and they have been researching these for a long time. Mm. Six thousand uppy downy bits. Yeah. Per minute. Oh, Six thousand. That's a lot, isn't it? Gosh. It's ridiculous. You couldn't. There's no way you could. No. Cut. Uh, no. Exactly. Yeah, mad. And so it just. And so you get two blades with it. Yeah. Basically, use one for your paper, and one for your fabric like it so it says one for like they're, they're both exactly the same yeah and you you also get so you can battery charge it brilliant uh it just recharges yeah. rechargeable batteries or you can plug it in perfect all comes all comes in with it so Ooh. it's all on the website take a look it's um yeah it's I all on there they may have to go on my wish list well you know actually. yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Oh. finding all the goodies these days you are aren't you yes. for you it's all for you right what are we doing right okay so, down to the, let me get the instructions back out again. What have I done with those? Oh, I moved them. Oh, Helpfully. there we are. To there. So, <laughs> taking you through everything step by step. Yeah. Because we've jumped a few here because I just want to show you the, the kind of tricky bits. So, um, hang on, tricky bits, what level are we looking at? Oh, this is actually, it's still, I would say beginner. What have I put it as? Beginner plus. So, it's plus because it's, um, it's got a few little techniques like the pockets and the neckband, and it's in jersey. So, but actually there's no zips, there's no buttons, there's no fastenings of any and kind. And if you're worried, just don't put the pocket in. And if you want, yeah, you can just leave the pocket out, which is easy. It would be a yeah. shame. Yeah, but it, it's, that's what makes it really nice and just gives it that, you've got to have pockets, haven't you? You've got to have pockets. Yeah. And they're actually very straightforward. 
but because there's a couple of extra processes in it, that's why we've put it as a beginner's plus. Okay. So it's not hard. Okay. It's not working its way up to intermediate or anything like that. Mm -hmm. so. oh, no. <laughs> but the pockets are the first thing that we're going to start with. Okay. But that's what they look like. I wanted to do one so that you could see what it looks oh, like oh, yeah, finished. Yeah, yeah, okay. There we go. So that's your little mouse hole pocket there. And it is a little mousey hole pocket yeah. there. Oh, why is that shape? Mm. I know, it's quite nice. And they're big enough to put your phone in as Are well. They? Yeah. There's Ooh. a big, I don't know if you've seen it recently, there's big discussions about tra men's trousers, women's trousers, jeans, oh, not about being. pocket sizes. So women's trouser pockets are a bit pathetic, really. Yeah. Whereas men's trouser pockets, you know, you put your phone in, your wallet in. Your yeah, but key. do you want your phone that close to well. certain things? Because they, <laughs> well, but they are saying that the radiation from your phone know, shouldn't be, do. you shouldn't put them in your pocket. Yeah. It's like oh. women that keep them in their bras. You shouldn't put your No, I your don't, phone I don't do that, but it goes in there. Yeah, no, I think that's okay. Much easier. Yeah. Or if you've got a pocket there, yeah. again, it's just slightly yeah. further away, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. All these things you've got to think about. Mm. So the pocket is the bit that we're going to look at at the moment. Okay. So there are a couple of bits to the pocket. Which we didn't <laughs> cut into. Which we didn't, luckily. <laughs> luckily. Nearly, but not. So we've got a pocket back, we've got a pocket facing, and we've got a pocket binding. Right. So those three pieces are what we're going to use to make up the pocket and you can actually you can really see on the screen the right and the wrong way can't you whichever yes. way around that yeah. is so we're going to put the binding on first okay now we're going to stretch the binding to fit around the curve of the pocket and is that the scary bit that's the only scary bit to be okay. perfectly honest so what I'm going to do is now again what's more scary is not pinning but actually it makes it so much easier not pinning. not pinning I know, I know. Pins and overlockers don't really I go heard together. I teeth sucking from here. I know. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> That's it. So now, your pocket binding is longer than that strip. We want to make sure that the ends hang right off the edge of the garment. And that oh, way, okay. Okay. we're not going to get any little steps or anything like that. So it needs to hang off. Okay. Exactly. So what I'm going to do is roughly find the middle. Do you do that technical thing? Oh, yeah, fold it in half. Fold it in half. Yeah. <laughs> you can either put a pin in at the moment or you can mark it with a snip or with a piece of chalk or whatever you want to do. We'll do the same thing with the curve. So again, I'm just going to roughly mark that. There we go. With a halfway point. So now I can see, oh, I see where that's going to go. Right. Yeah. I'm just trying to find any messages. Carry on. That's fine. Yeah. Now what I'm going to do is line those up, but I'm going to pin along the direction that I'm sewing rather than across it, because that's going to make sure that I don't get my pin in the way. Uh -huh. And then what I can do is actually stretch. I want to do it in a way that you can see now. I want to be able to stretch that round there. Can you see? So oh, I'm just nice. pulling, okay. pulling that off so that the edge, this folded edge, needs yeah. to be off the edge of your garment. Otherwise, yeah. you're going to end up with a little step. So I'm going to start there, and then I can straighten it off. Okay. Perfect. So what I'm going to do is pop that on the overlocker. Okay. Okay. And okay. we're just going to overlock it straight away. Now, no messing, no messing around. No messing. Straight If forward. you are doing it on a normal sewing machine, you could machine baste it in place. Okay. Because we're going to layer everything up. Oh. But because I'm doing it on the overlocker, and we're doing straight it quickly, forward. we're just going to go straight in there. Yes. Do it. Let me get that lined up for you. Boom. Straight in on the old overlocker. Christine is watching in her sewing room. Hello, Christine. Via Chromecast. Ooh. That sounds interesting. Yeah, yeah, no idea what that's all about. No. Tina says, what channel, please? I'm new to this group. Well, Tina, you found us. You found us on Facebook. You can watch us there. Uh, and Geraldine says, hi, ladies. Love Julie's pattern. Uh, yeah, Jules. Yeah. Julia, that is my given Yeah, yeah, yeah. Name. I yes. know. You, you know when you say something, you're like, hang on. I know. I'm a Julia. Yeah. Rather than a Julie. Right. But to be honest, I'll answer to anything. Jules. Jules is what everyone else calls me. Yeah. Yeah. 
So I've got that lined up. You can see that I've got the edge of the neck binding off the edge of the garment. Yep. And then I'm not going to trim anything off. I'm going to try and keep it so that the edge of the fabric is just so along with the edge of the blade. And then I can stretch it and bend it around that curve. And whilst you do that, Elizabeth has asked me how heavy the cutters are. So I'm just going to weigh them. Oh, uh, there we go. 449 grams, Elizabeth. There you go. <laughs> That's a detailed response. Well, there. you know, yes, absolutely. So all I'm doing now is I'm stretching the binding. And because I'm going round this curve, I'm pulling the fabric back anti-clockwise to straighten off the curve. And then I'm using my fingers to kind of hold it all in place ah, here clever. as we sew. Elizabeth would also like to add that her bra isn't big enough for phone. More like <laughs> corn plasters. <laughs> oh <dear. laughs> oh, I love that. Oh. <laughs> so if you've got any questions, get them in because I've, I've found where we are now live on Facebook. So it's all good. There we go. So we've stitched it in. Now this is where we're going to need the iron. Oh, oh, Please. oh. Yes, let me turn that on. Now it looks a little bit kind of puckered with what we've done. Is that okay? At the moment, but that is absolutely fine. Because when we've pressed it, it's going to sit nice and flat. La 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 oh, la. Oh look. La. What do we have here? La 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 la. Uh, we have the pressing mat. From Housefella. This has been creating a little bit of a storm. I'm not going to so lie. So I gather. Yeah, so exclusive to us here for now. Um, and I don't actually know um, if it will make it anywhere else, to be honest, because they're selling out time, time, time again um, here. Uh, this is from um, House of Alistair. Yeah. Now, you know Alistair. Yeah. But at home you might not know who he is. He used to, um, well, he used to do... Um, he used to work on Savile Row. He used yeah. to work for Liberties. He's been he's been around as our Alistair in the nicest possible way. And um, it dawned on him that the um, that the tailors on Savile Row had mats like this, mm. and these are handed down from master tailor to student. Yeah. So there are mats like this on Savile oh, Row wow. that are actually older. Um, than the people using them. Gosh, that's amazing. Yeah. And this is the, the same wool that they use under... Oh, like the felting underneath the collar. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, brilliant. Uh, now, Geraldine Ooh. asked yesterday, can you, how do you clean them? I go with a sticky lint roller. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. If you want to take anything off. Yeah. You can wash it on a wool setting. Ah, oh, brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. And they've all been bound to last. Lovely. And they don't break the bank. Yeah. But what they do They're do, nice, which you can probably they? see, is they hold the fabric. It's, There's enough yeah. there. It's like fuzzy felt, isn't yes. it? Yes. But it doesn't. Yeah. So if you're working with a finer fabric, yeah. it holds it's it just beautifully. Sit it, uh, yeah. I mean, it's just working with this jersey. It's just holding it in place yeah. to allow me to press it, which is perfect. So I yeah. um, I was using this with, with quite complex seams yesterday. Mm. Brilliant. The flattest Fab. seams I've ever had. Um, and I did buy myself a, like the thick wool mats. Yes. Haven't even bothered to open it because I got this. Yeah. And just didn't even bother. That's fine. Um, the other thing, of course, when you're dressmaking, if you ever need to use a ham. Ah, yes. Just shove it underneath. Yeah. Perfect. So, job, job done. dressmakers, quilters, you are all catered for. Yeah. And you will see uh, we're using it directly onto my pressing, onto my cutting mat. Yeah. No yeah, problem. which is fabulous, isn't it? Because Ideal. It's not, it's not getting, it's no. warm, but it's not yeah. hot underneath. Yeah. There Fabulous. Go. So I've just given that a little press and mm -hmm. now it's sitting much flatter. It is, isn't it? Which yes. is great. So what we're going to do now is to put the pocket bag on that, which is the cutout one. So that's the cutout shape. Right. 
and we were going to do right sides together. So I'm going to fold that because I've now pressed that. Mm -hmm. It's almost got like a little memory as to where it needs to go. Oh, OK. So when I fold it back again, it's going to still be. It'll know. It'll know. Isn't it funny how I things know. know? I know. So we've got right sides together. I'm going to line up. So it's just another layer. Yeah. So it becomes a sandwich. Exactly. Yes. So I'm going to pop that on there. Now I'm going to flip it over Go on, and actually it. pin it because I'm going to sew it so that I'm sewing on top of my row of... Can I... Should we go closer? There we that? go. Jules, come on. Let's, do you want to lift that up, 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 by oh. the overlocker? There we go. There we are. So what I'm going to do... There we are. Is I'm going to sew it from this side. So I've got my... From your overlocked edge. Overlocked edge, edge to use yeah. as a guide because I'm going to overlock back over that again. Okay. I know. Now you might you think, oh, that's, that's loads of overlocking. But actually, it's, it's fine. It sits okay. Okay, good. If you didn't, if you were working with a particularly heavy jersey, mm. then you might just want to um, stay stitch the band onto the garment first, and right. then we can do the overlocking. Okay, okay. This is good. So I'm, again, I'm going to pin, but I'm going to pin horizontally so you can take uh, them out. away yeah yeah from the actual line of sewing okay so I'm going to match up either end because it's you've got different shaped curves kind of working against each other so I'm going to line those up and then ease everything else into fit in the middle So then when I open that out, I can relax. So that you can see at the moment, it doesn't look like it's going to work because it looks like your pocket is too big for the curve. Yeah. But if you just ease it and just relax it back down, you can line up those raw edges. So you're almost, are you relaxing or sort of pulling it flat? I'm, what I'm doing is I'm stretching the curve, stretching the neckband and the garment yeah. to fit the actual pocket and that's okay yeah that's not going to pucker or anything like nope, that that'll Just be fine good job good job there we go Very that's good. mark make sure that all of those raw edges are level in fact it's easier sometimes if you can just pull the pocket out so you can just see it so it's just underneath so it's just coming out from underneath do you want to go close up on that here we go. We have the technology. There we, go. there we go. So you can see that my bottom layer of the pocket is just protruding out from underneath the overlocking. Yeah. Which is absolutely fine. It's because the overlocker will then trim that off, won't it? So yeah. it'll neaten everything up. Yes. Now, you see, Claire's just uh, being given an overlocker for her birthday. She her husband still doesn't understand that it's not a sewing machine. No. It's not a it's sewing machine. It's different. It's a totally different thing. Doesn't thing. understand. It's okay. It's okay. He'll get there. Or he won't. You know. Does it matter? He just knows you needed one. Exactly. Well, that's, that's, okay. that's a good husband. Yeah. Then. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Angie's watching. Morning, Angie. Uh, who else have we got? We've got lots of people. Gail's watching. Morning. Helen, it is a prim mini iron. Um, she wants one. Ah, yeah, they're handy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Brenda says that it's a challenge seeing what you're sewing. Um, yes. But it's there's not a lot I can do about that. I'm afraid. I'm going to try and hold that up. There we go. What? So if I've we got change everything. Change this around a little bit. What if we? Where does it want to go? Would that help? What do you reckon? Can you manage from yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, try? yeah. We'll see if we can do that. So I've got everything layered up here. Mm. And again, one of the reasons why we've got this hanging off is that we can start overlocking on this thin bit, and it helps us to get over all the layers that we've got here. Oh. So it's kind of leading us in. We'll nice. trim it all off flush afterwards. Okay. So I've got that bit there. I'm trying to keep my hands out of the way, but it's difficult. No, well, you've, yeah, they're just, you know, I, I don't have multi-million pound companies no. behind me to have 18 million cameras, I'm That's afraid. So we, we'll do the best we possibly can. So again, what I'm doing is I'm trying not to cut off a huge amount here. I'm lining up my original line of overlocking just so that the edge sits alongside the inside edge of the blade here. Okay. So that I'm not cutting huge amounts off, but anything that's in the way. It just neatens, doesn't it? That's exactly. the beauty of it. Yes. Linda's watching. She's morning. Tasha, loving the programmes. Thank you very much. 
And Ali's got an overlocker. Brilliant. Does anyone know if the blade can be turned off? Yes. Yes, yes they can. Yes, you can. Yes, they can. Um, you can always turn blades off with overlockers, really, can't you? You can, yeah. Um, there will there will be a way, Ali. Get your get your. You can um, usually twist them, so you can you can either flip them up or you can flip them down. One way we'll be able to reduce. You can take your overlocker blade out of the way. Now, what I'm doing here is because I don't want to get my fingers in the way is using yeah. my tweezers. Right. So I'm just making sure that I can see that bottom piece of fabric underneath my yeah. overlocking. So I know that I'm not going to get any holes because I'm catching that underneath layer. And because my pins are horizontal, Oh, so you can get at them before they I can they get at them before they go anywhere near the blade. Yes, and they're not going to get stuck underneath the blade either. Yeah, now Victoria, morning! Victoria Pete's watching. She says that um, her old uh, bonnet, uh, you can swivel the blade out of the way. You can with this as well. I'm not au okay fait with the brother ones. Have you got brother ones or no, not? No, we've got to no. know. You've yeah. got to know me, yeah. Uh, I think a little Google Alley is what you need to that's do there. It. It'll be oh, on. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, she's going to have another play with it, so that's okay. Ask the god of Google. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. We, hang on, I can show you on this one. Ah. Because on this one. Here we go. Where are we? You see, this is this is where you want to be looking in your machine, and somewhere around there will be. Uh, it'll set, it'll tell you where you need to be. So that's that's this is the area here that you want to be looking at, Ali, in your machine. There you go. Which I don't know if you just. I'm just trying to remember on mine. I haven't done it for so long. No. Ah, I can't remember. There'll be a way. There is a way. There is a way. Is it that? Ah. No, that's that your stitch width finger. That takes that out. Do we want that on or off? Yeah, leave that where that's that's it. Ah, there, there it go. is. So on this machine, Ali, just move the sticker in the way. There you go. If I tilt that that way, it's just that. That's all it does. Up and down. There you go. Perfect. So look for something like that on your machine. There we go. Marvellous. All right. There we go. Hurrah! Hurrah and huzzah. We've sorted out the, <laughs> the knife. Well, you know, you've got to find out these things, haven't you? Absolutely. Um, Anne says, lovely demo, Jules. Thank you. Uh, and Natasha, do we have to buy three metres to make the Jules pattern? Yes. Yes, yes, because we're selling by the metre. Lovely. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, but then you'll have a little bit left over. Exactly. Should you wish to do anything else with it? There we go. So we've got, we've stitched it like that okay, that's that there. there we go that one yeah now i know where i'm looking yeah there you go down a bit down a bit down a bit there we go that's there it there we are so we've got those layers all together there mm -hmm. and then when you flip the pocket back again on itself so we've flipped it now to the wrong side so you've got the binding coming out then you can see you've got that oh, it nice all starts to go together a treat. Yeah, there we go. So again, we can just press that and make sure that that's press. all sitting. Yep. There we go. Now, I probably would recommend using steam with Jersey. Okay. Because it just helps everything just shrink back into place. Uh, I haven't got the little thingy pot thing. Do you want to use a, a, a spray or anything? No, this will do. It's Are just, you sure? yeah. Because you can use that with steam, yeah. but I haven't put any water in there. Cause ah, no. okay. No, it no, isn't no, any steam fine. iron, but there's oh, no is water it? in there. Oh, yeah, that's brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If you can get your hands on one of the prim ones, they're fab. Ooh. Yeah. That's cool. Now, Carol's finally managing to watch live. Ooh, lovely. Yeah. Uh, she's just um, debating whether or not to get an overlocker. Oh, do it. Just do, do it. it. It's a no-brainer. Um, I've taken £100 off the price today. There you so, go. So, you know. What more do you want? Exactly. 
Yeah, and go if you can afford it, I would say go go air locker, uh, air threader. They yeah, they makes brilliant. a big difference, doesn't it? They are because then you actually want to use it rather than spending I three know. hours. And trying you to kind of yeah. Oh my god, I need to change the threads. No, and you end up overlocking everything in the same colour. Yeah, because you don't because you don't want to change the threads. In fact, when we did the show with Gary. So yeah. if you're in two minds, check out the show with Gary. It's it's uh, there's a link to it underneath where the machine is, um, on the website. Yeah. Um, we actually had someone message in saying she has two, one she keeps threaded with dark. Yeah. And one she keeps threaded with light, thread. Oh no. No, that's no. You just need, either to get one of these. Yeah. Or you need to just make friends with your machine. Yeah. There are so many it's easier dream, ways of it? doing it. Yeah. But these are amazing. They I remember really seeing your, your face when we did one. My first show back with Emily uh, on Sewing Quarter. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> and your little face lit Let up. <gasps> like, oh, oh, it does what? One of these. <laughs> it does what? Oh. It's the dream. Took me five years to get one. Oh. Best thing I ever did. They're fab, aren't they? Uh, Jill says, morning both. Loving the show. Sadly missed Hello. the first 15 minutes. Um, how much is needed for a size 16, 18? Three metres covers everything. Yep, three metres, and that will do all of your sizes. On anyone? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> covers everything Absolutely. on anyone. Yeah. There you go. Sorted. There we go. So we've got the pocket facing Yes. Done. What we want is the pocket bag. Okay. So this is the back bit. Right. So again, we want right sides together. Right. That's going to flop down there, and then we're going to lift the pocket up because we don't want to get this in the way of the garment right so then we can just match those up again i'm just going to put a couple of pins it in it does all marry up doesn't it a treat uh lisa lamb morning Hi, says lisa. yes air threading i have it i love it yeah they're there brilliant aren't yeah. they? yeah 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 uh, and mary says that she's watching the program uh watching while in a sewing room Oh, lovely. Yeah, so you've got to get a bit of sneaky sewing in, haven't well, you? Well, it's such a miserable day out yeah, there. Absolutely. Why would you not want to be in your sewing room making something? Um, and Jill, if you missed the first 15 minutes, you can catch up later. It's all good. It's all good. So you can see how we've moved all the garment out of the way. Yeah. And we've got those two pocket pieces are just lined up. So we're just going to whiz around that outside edge now. Yes. Whiz, whiz. Let's do that then. There we are. is very whizzy. Oh, it is. Now, I'm going around a corner. I'm going around this curved shape. Mm. So what I'm trying to do now is to pivot with my hand. So I'm holding my hand flat on the fabric like that. Mm. And then I'm going to pivot mm. so that I'm bringing this curved line so it sits underneath the blade nice. straight. And it's doing it a treat, isn't it? Oh, this is lovely. And that's due to the differential feeds on this machine if we're going to get, you know, technical and stuff. No, differential feed is a really important feature, especially when you're working with jersey. And that's something that an overlocker will just sort out for you. Brilliant. So the differential f feed, um, if we just explain it okay. in layman's terms. Differential feed is the rate at which the fabric is pulled underneath the needles. Yes, which is why you say to anyone use a walking foot if you're making this on a normal sewing machine yes then use a use a walking foot because mm. that is taking your fabric exactly. and taking it through at the same rate yeah. because this has got stretch in it you don't want one being pulled through and one just being left behind exactly. else you'll end up with one fabric longer than the other which yeah. is not what you want no but the differential feeds on 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 this grab the whole thing and and it's on like a box system, so it's always in contact with the fabric. So you get a nice even feed coming through. Brilliant. That's not the case with all overlockers. Certainly is with this one. That's another reason why we love it. Another box ticked. There Hurrah. we go. Hurrah. There. So that's all sitting nice and flat underneath. Nice. It really is. And we've got a pocket so we Yay. can put our hand in there now. Or phone. Love or anything or else. Or phone or yeah. anything else you want, or your lunch or whatever you want to put in there. Really. Simone says, hi, lovely. Uh, this is a snowy morning for her. Oh gosh, where is, oh, I don't wow. know. She got an snow. overlocker for Christmas. Oh, lovely. And she's made a dog bed cover. Perfect. So far. Yeah, when uh, Gary came in, he was mortified at the state of my machine because I make a lot of charity dog beds. 
<laughs> with uh, Alistair's leftover fleece he sends me. Oh, brilliant. So, yeah, it's all it's all the, the leftovers. I sent leftovers from sewing quarter. Ah. Alistair's leftovers was up a few dog beds because they say that if a dog has a nice bed, yes. like a handmade bed, mm. they get adopted more quickly. Oh, really? Because people can envisage them rather than like yeah. some stinky rag that yeah. you don't want to, you know, is no, going to smell of dog pee. Yeah. Um, it, it, they can envisage them more in their own. Oh, what a good idea. Mm. Oh, that's great. Mm, there you go. Aww. Right. So that's a pocket. Now, mm -hmm. you could, if you want to, just stay stitch those in place. So a stay stitch is just a long basting stitch exactly. that stops stretch yes. happening. It does what it says on the tin. It's keep, it makes it stay, stay in place. Right. So that's brilliant. Yeah. So that's that little bit done. So then we can move on to the actual seams. Now, Simone wants to know if you could do a sewing with your overlocker demo. Well, we kind of are. Yes. And also, there's two hours of Gary doing oh, a sewing well, you with go. your overlocker yeah. demo. So check that out. It's all on the website. Yeah. There you go. That would be brilliant. Now, what I've done on here as well is the bands are really easy to do. So once we've got the pockets done. Because mm. this is something else that people worry about. Yeah. Slash me. Yeah. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> Jules, will you come to a show? Slightly selfish reasons. Uh, not gonna lie. <laughs> That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Once you've done your pockets, yep. you've then got to put the rest of it together, okay. which is actually very straightforward. So the sleeves, you're literally if I turn it inside out, there we go. So you've got a sleeve front and a sleeve back. Right. So when you're attaching those, all you're doing is matching up the notches and that very slightly curved raglan sleeve. That's going to be really quick to do one. then. Very, very quick. Rather very than trying quick. to mess around inserting sleeves. Exactly. Right the yeah. So you can attach the sleeves really quickly and easily. If you want to do top stitching, now would be the chance to do that. I've done a little bit on mine here, right? Um, but it's another way of emphasising that seam. Makes so it with look the a navy, you might have gone for the plain navy, but you might absolutely even yeah. a jean top stitch. Oh yeah, that like would look nice. Orange or something. Oh, now you're talking. Yeah, you know. that would work really nicely mm. actually. Mm. Yeah, I mean, some people have got. Um, we've had quite a few people use variegated threads. Or like rainbow threads or something oh, like that for top stitching. Nice. I know people use them for overlocking. Yeah. Why not use it for top stitching? That could work, couldn't it? it could look yeah. Quite, Why not? Look rather fabulous. So you've like got your variegated thread. Yeah. So you've got your sleeves now attached to the oh. body. So you've got you've got arms on. You've got arms on. Got right. arms on. There and then arm. you've got a single seam down the length of your oh, sleeve. On. Show me again. So there. it goes yep. from the neck right the way down. To the cuff okay so then you can join the front and the backs together yes. on the shoulder perfect now if you've got very stretchy fabric you may find that it's it's going to give too much and you don't want to make sure you want to make sure that your shoulders aren't going to bag okay or overstretch right so this is where you might want to put some seam tape in or um, form band if you okay. want to i haven't bothered with this or with this fabric because it's quite stable and it's not going to overstretch so you'd be okay. But if you've got something, so the uh, the lightweight knit that yes. we have, the lightweight floral knit, yes. bear with, I'll find it. Yes, yeah, so you'd need to do something with that. It's very easy to do. You can either this overlock one. it straight into the seam, or if you've got the form band, you can just iron that onto one side, front or back, doesn't make any difference. that's got that stretch. Yeah, because it's very, it, yeah, it's got to kind of bag slightly over time. Jules, do you know, on average, when someone has your pattern, how many times they end up making it oh gosh quite a few and in different fabrics i know we've got yeah there are several people that have oh, i don't know umpteen there was um claire who is one of our teachers i think she at one point had was it 12 or 13 kate dresses we have uh, a lovely lady works. sue yeah. if you're watching Morning. i think she's got about 15 pairs of hero trousers <gasps> I know, which is insane. I'd quite like to do the hero trousers at some point. Oh, lovely. We've got a trouser workshop. Yeah. We do a, uh, a trouser weekend, which is two days. Mm. And it's brilliant because you can't fit yourself with trousers. Do you need a friend, a trouser no. buddy? Exactly. That makes it so much easier, which is what we do for you yeah. when yeah, you come yeah. to our workshops. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because it's quite tricky to be able to see where things are and to pin in the bits that you can't really get uh, to in order to get a good fit. Do you need a trouser buddy? 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's All where right. we help. Oh, I see. Um, 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 uh, Pam says that she has the Elna and the Juki and she loves them both. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, is there plenty of room around the bottom hip area? Yes, there is. Step back and give us a twirl. There we go. Yeah, so it's nice and roomy. Yep. Again, if you decide, because you've got all the finished garment measurements mm. on there, you might decide you want to knock it up a size, and that's absolutely fine. So if you want it a little bit more roomy, it's not as baggy. Oh, hello. Yeah, there's a cat just wandered in for anyone that's wondering who, who Jules cat is just walked to. in front of me here, yeah. Um, if it's not as voluminous as something like the Hippolyta, yeah, yeah, which yeah. is what we did last time, yeah. because that's a proper bat wing. Yeah. But this is because it's a raglan sleeve. It's a little bit... It's got a little bit of extra space here, hmm. but it's not as big and baggy as some of our other ones. But again, try it and see. Measure it. Try the measurements against you and see what you this think. This is um, a great a great everyday top, isn't it? Oh, it's lovely. I could see myself yeah. dog walking, picking yeah. up the kids, doing all of that kind of thing. This is and what it's all about. And then going for lunch with the girls. Yeah, it's making clothes that you want to wear every day. Mm. You're not making something that's just going to be for a special occasion. It's going to be something that you're going to pull on. Every I day. have an issue with that. It's I know. like it, it, it's oh. like saving your your best, isn't it? Yeah. Well, for me, every day should be best. Exactly. That's what's yeah. the point. Yeah. It's totally. Totally. You know, we don't have best cutlery and best china. No. We use it every day. Yeah. Because every day is the best. Exactly. Totally. I'm totally with yes. you on that one. Yes. So we've got the shoulders joined together, and we can do the bands. Now, okay. the bands are really easy to do. They are perfectly straightforward. Oh, oh. the cat's coming in. It's all going on now. Hello. Oh, HP. <laughs> Come on. Not you. She's, um... You're a little purry motorboat, yeah, aren't you? She, oh, You're no, like that's mine. That's not the view that we want. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I love it. <laughs> Come on, you. <laughs> well, you can tell this is live, can't you? <laughs> you can go in there. Brilliant. She, um... Oh dear. <laughs> so, no, Natasha's disappearing, getting rid of the cat at the moment. Otherwise, we're going to have furry footprints everywhere. Banished. She, oh. um, she, she was a rescue, and oh. she has allergies and all sorts of stuff. So she's oh. always pulling her fur out left, oh. right, and centre. So she just shed yeah. everywhere. I know the feeling. We've got a house. We've got two cats, and they just get everywhere. Right, as okay. we were. Sorry as about we were. that, everybody. That's fine. So I forgot to put her away. The bands. Now, the front band, mm -hmm. you can see, is slightly shaped. Oh, yes. Because it's following that line. Oh. That where because the side seams don't hang on the side, they kind of, the side seams kind of tip forward slightly. It, yeah. Because you want your pockets, you don't really want your pockets right here on the side. You want them slightly yeah. forward because your hands so it's want all to go in. You scooped. See. Yeah, and it just brings everything forward. So like when you used to do Pilates classes and they used to say, just... Everything forward slightly. <laughs> That's what it's done. That's it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, perfect. So you've got that shape now. It's ever so easy to do. What we've done is press it in half. Yep. So you've got now on this one, we've used the wrong side for right? the contrast. For the contrast. Nice. So which we did on the pockets as well. Yes. So all I've done is literally press it in half and then overlocked it to the bottom edge. And actually, the fabrics that we've got today, a lot of those have got some lovely contrast yes. bits, haven't yeah. they? Yeah, that would work really nicely. Yes. And exactly the same I've done with the back. Now, the back is done slightly differently. Okay. So what we've done is we've finished off that corner first. Right. So you can see that just there. So we've neatened that off. So what we've done is fold it with the wrong sides together first and then stitched across the short side right and then we've just flipped it out and then on your pattern piece there will be a mark on this bottom corner of the back let's, I'm just trying to see if I can find it on close. your pattern piece let me piece. show you this here oh, there so you see there's a, yeah, that's not wrong. You want that bit there. You need to, there to be a little step. And can you yeah. see how that is already finished there? So there is a dot, I'm just trying to find it on the pattern piece, but there is a dot on your pattern where you need to... Where it needs to be. Where, where I've that got some needs questions. Oh, lovely. Jules, questions. Go for and it. And the question, oh, wrong one. 
there you go, is. Um, could I make this by hand, says Elizabeth. By hand? Eli oh no, Eliza Jane, sorry, Eliza Jane. As I'm unable to use a machine, if I use a jersey, would I need a special needlepoint hand needle? Uh, that's, you're giving yourself a job there, making it all by gosh. hand. Um, you would probably, oh gosh, I don't, I've she never. She says, I thought yeah. you were in Exeter and you thought I was odd. <laughs> I wasn't there, I can't comment. <laughs> uh, but I have so many garments by hand with French seams. You could do French seams, absolutely, yes. It's probably easier to do with a woven. Right. Because unless you try to do, you're going to have to do almost like a triple stitch. So you're going backwards and forwards on yourself to give you that little bit of extra give, that little bit of extra stretch. So you could do it, definitely. If you can, uh, you should be, there are, you can get ballpoint hand needles, can't you? You can get all sorts of needles exactly. out there. So I'd probably yeah. use one of those. Um, double thread. And then just make sure that you're going back. So almost like doing a little triple stitch. Okay. So you're kind of doing one, going back on yourself, and then doing three, and then going back on yourself. Oh, because kind of there's a bit of stretch because you don't you want. want yeah, 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 you yeah, want yeah, there yeah. to be a little bit of give in your actual stitching because it needs to give with the fabric itself. So not impossible. You could do it. But if you could get hold of a sewing machine, even a hand one, that would be, yeah. You can pick them up in charity shops about 10 o'clock. Absolutely. Yeah. My husband keeps bringing them in. Um, Heather, um, who has possibly one of the best surnames ever, Womble. Ooh, well, like well Wombell. Wombell. Well, it's about, yeah, but for me, I, just, I used to love Wombles as a kid, yeah. so I'm going to call you Womble. I hope you don't mind. Um, morning, ladies, from a soggy Lincolnshire. Would it be easy to shorten? You can shorten it, but because you've got the pockets, you need to bear in mind where those are going to sit. So there are lengthened and shortened lines underneath the pockets on the pattern pieces. Ah, okay, so that's yes. that's your place. Yeah. That's your place. Um, and Tony wants to know, would a full bust adjustment, I don't know why I'm giving it this, would a full bust adjustment um, be needed for a more... <laughs> I'm, I'm, that's it now, I'm just, I'm, I'm yes. cupping. Um, for a more generously built person? Um, it de again, it depends. I would go by your the finished garment measurements on the pattern first. Right. Because you've got stretch, mm -hmm. you've got, you could do an FBA through here, but you might not need to because of the measurements and the stretch within the fabric itself. Yeah. So check that first. Okay. But you could do an FBA if you need to, yes. FBA? There you go. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Almost, yes. Yeah. Sort of. Could work. <laughs> so we've done oh, this. Oh, yep. Yeah. Right. We've done that. We've oh. got this. So basically, we're putting the bands onto the front and the back separately. <sighs> we've got, got the bands it. on the front and back separately. And you need to have that little step there so that we can join it to something, join it to the... So oh, without things. chopping all of that off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. good. Brilliant. So once we've got that done, then we've got to do the side seams. So... Do you do the side before the arm? It's all part of the same thing. Oh, of course it is. So this is what makes it even easier, you see. <laughs> and you're exactly, done. Exactly, exactly. So it is a quick make. There we are. So is we've this got just going to be a couple of hours? And you're, yeah. It, it, do you know what? <laughs> yeah. It depends. If you want to do top stitching or cover stitching or anything like that, right. obviously you're going to need to swap bet between machines mm. and things like that. So it will take a little bit longer. But you could easily get one of these knocked up in a couple of hours. Nice. Yeah. Especially on an overlocker. Yes. So. Here we go. Let's see what's going on here. Right. I'm just going to trim that edge off there. There. So we've got... That wasn't the bit we had overhanging, was it? No, 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 no. No, no. that's okay. No, no, no. Just that's just in. me trimming off a, an end there just to make sure that it all right. fits. So we've got the front that's got the pocket. Yes, the pocket. And we're going to put that to the back that's got the step. Right, yes, the step. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the edge, the folded edge of your front band mm -hmm. goes level with the, bot the step. So that's where we want that bit because this is going to be lower at the back yes because the back is lower so I'm going to pop a pin in there then we can match up the side seams or the underarm seams now if you've not top stitched I'd push one one way and one the other let me do it on here so you can see ooh, 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 ooh. 
there you go. There, so we've got those seams that we're trying to mm -hmm. fit together. Now what I'm doing is pushing the bottom one one way and pulling the top one the other so that they're, they're kind of going in different directions, which reduces the bulk on that area. If you've top stitched them, then that's fine. But if you haven't, then you just make it a bit easier. Okay, okay. so a bit like you would um, with your quilt seams. Exactly, isn't it? exactly. Send one, one way and one the other. Yeah. Um, and Eliza Jane says thank you for your help. That's all right. There you go. That's what we're here for. Yeah. And um, everyone else just laughing at the cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's yep. lovely. <sighs> She was she was super tiny. She's called half pint because she wasn't supposed to last the night. Oh. They said take her home and just cuddle her yeah. because we doubt she'll make it through the night. Oh and bless, she poor little thing. Is thirteen now. Oh. And um, she's solid. Yeah. I mean, she's she's tried every way to kill herself to be fair, but oh, not God. actually succeeded. <laughs> I love that. The cat, cat with the death wish. Yeah, no, absolutely. She's the one that when I was on a course in London, um, I said, oh, Stephen, I haven't, seen, I haven't seen the cat. You know, do you know where, have you seen HP? And uh, so he texts me when I was in London. He said, oh, she's back. Um, she's got a bit of a limp. Oh, dear. She'd broken her leg and it was hanging oh, off. Oh, no. It was oh, more than a bit of a limp. And he, he just turned to her and just said, oh, I'm not really a cat person. <gasps> No, but you have lived in the world. Like, you do know if a, if a leg is attached or not. <laughs> oh, poor little thing. No, not much of a cat person. Oh. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. But she, she recovered. Oh, dear. We went on our honeymoon and my mum had to uh, put all the pills down her neck. While oh, that, <laughs> while I hate giving, away. yeah, worm tablets and stuff yeah, like that. Oh, fun. it's a nightmare, Oh, good fun. It? Yeah. Everything. Right, what are we doing so next? So, we've got everything lined up now. Okay. Now, again, I've just pinned horizontally. So, that's the so way, which is not what we're used to. No. But it's okay. But it's okay. Mm -hmm. It works. Mm -hmm. And now we can see these little bits that are poking off. So, we can actually cut those off now so that they're flush. Oh, okay. With but the then the overlocker will do that too, won't it? It so will, but I tend to think it's, make, let's make life easier. Okay. And that way you're not left with it kind of trying to crunch its way through lots of okay. layers. All right. Um, Ali likes a lower back to cover her behind. Yes. <laughs> so do I. Yeah, but you see, then you don't have to worry, do you, about visible panty lines or anything like that? <laughs> exactly. Big pounds. Because, yeah. yeah, it's covered. That's true. Yeah. So we're going to overlock now from the wrist all the way down to the hem. That's amazing. Yeah. All the way. Yeah. We just want to be a little bit careful where we've got all those layers. Mm. with the pocket mm. and everything just going to be a little bit careful but because we've got centimeter seam allowances here yes we're not necessarily trimming off huge amounts okay so the blade's not going through lots and lots of layers all it's doing is just making sure that anything that shouldn't be there just gets trimmed out of the way goes yeah goes yes there we go right here we are ready ready steady so ready steady overlock so I'm just going to let that run itself through. Oh, uh, Jill would like to know what size the pattern goes up to, please. A generous 26. A generous 26. Yes. Fabulous. And uh, Penn would like to know what weight of jersey you're using. This one is just a, um, almost like a Ponte Roma. Okay. Yeah, which is another kind of fabric that works really well. So this is going to make up in lots of different fabrics. Yes. It's a very, very versatile top, which we love. That's the whole point, isn't it, really? Yeah. You want, you want to make something or have a pattern that you can make again and again. Yeah. You know, and they will look different in different fabrics. And different weights as well. Yeah, totally. And that's why we've brought you a variety of fabric types, weights, everything else oh hello the old uh, tweezers are out oh that's it yeah you just want to keep your fingers don't you well yes it makes life so much easier <laughs> there so we're all we're doing is just trimming off little bits like that so these are just the bits that are getting in yeah. the way so yeah always have your tweezers next to your machine it just makes life so much easier Now, 
once we've gone through all of the pocket layers the only bit we need to be a little bit careful about mm. is when we get down to this bottom edge here because okay. what we want to do is to make sure that the bottom edge of the front band should meet up with the bottom seam okay. of the back one yeah okay. and I want to make sure that that seam gets pushed up towards the garment and it doesn't kind of flip back down right because in case that makes it, it a little just, bit bulky yeah so this is where line. your tweezers are dead handy so you can just hold it in place and make sure it goes in now if you get to a lump just lift up the toe of the foot and that should tuck everything back underneath again uh, now Vanessa Allen says remember ready steady cook how uh, how cool would ready steady sew be <laughs> well isn't that that's basically the great British sewing bee isn't it it kind of is actually pretty yeah. much because we, and then they get let in to go and pick their fabrics. Yes, they kind of dash into yeah. it. It's a bit like supermarket sweep and have yeah. a dash away, isn't it? Yeah, really? yeah. Check it out. They still have supermarket sweep. I, I, don't, I think it was on at some point, actually. I can't remember who it was that did it now. Oh, no, it was... Um, well, not Dale, it's not going to be Dale Winter, is it? No, it won't be with Dale, no. But they often bring it back, don't they, with other yeah. people? Yeah. So let's take out those pins now. I've left them in because they were well out of the way from where we were. Yeah, stitching. you weren't you won't go and them. That's no, it. okay. So what we've got on that corner now. How smart is that? So you've got a nice little Oh, very nice. There we go. Yeah, look at that. There we go. There. You know the where the where the cameras are. Yeah. I'm still I getting know. to grips with that. Oh, you know you're doing a grand job. And that's so that's your step down over your bottom alley there. That's it. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So if you wanted to, mm. you could top stitch that bit and keep everything in. You could top stitch, you know, from or what you could do even is actually top stitch all the way around. So you're sewing in a, a little kind of a square shape oh, nice. that holds all the seams in place nice and flat. And that would be a nice detail, wouldn't it? It is a nice one. Yeah, it works really well. And then I can just tuck my overlocking tail up inside and give it another press nice uh, ryan clark does supermarket sweep there we go yeah, yeah yes yeah. um and he's bringing back ready steady cook well there you oh, go well, there, there you there go you go. see one man does all there we are again a bit of steam will just help that shrink in place i'll get you steam next no no, no that's fine doesn't matter there we go perfect so you've got a nice sharp little corner there. Hurrah. Which is brilliant. So we've actually got a top now. Wee! So if we do I mean I know that half of it was sewn, but still. I know it's but it's still pretty quick, really. Yeah. Because bearing in mind we wafted a bit as well. We did we did, we did yeah. waft for a while. Yeah. I like a bit so you can see. Nice. How you've got those two nice pockets The there. pockets look great. Yeah. And, look, and I love this detailing down here. You've got the little step. Just, that's your front bit. And then steps down to the back. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. Nice little detail from the mm. side as well. Oh, you clever thing. Oh, there we go. Right, what's next? So the last thing we've got to do then yeah. is the neckband and the cuff. Okay. And they are made up in exactly the same way. Whereas we did the pocket? No. Oh, no. Okay. Slightly different okay. way. Right. They, you can, you can, the both the cuff and the neckband are made up in, oh, I see what you mean. in yeah, the yeah, same yeah. way. Yeah. Except neckband's a bit narrower, cuff's a bit wider. Okay. Fair enough. So same yeah. thing works. So what we've done, and this is a nice tip actually, the, again, we've gone with the contrast. So I've done the contrast mm -hmm. side mm -hmm. together and just overlocked that short edge. Yeah. But now what we want to do is to fold it in half. Is that the, which bit's that? This is the cuff. Oh, it's the cuff. Okay. Yeah. So we want to fold that in half. Now, when we turn it through, what we're going to do is double it over like that, ah. yeah? But in order to reduce the amount of bulk. Down a bit, down a bit. Oh, there, sorry. We go. there we go. In order to reduce the amount of bulk mm. here, we kind of want half of the seam to go one side and half to go the other side so if we do a crafty little snip so if we fold it in half i've never seen this done before 
this is quite handy. It's you're going to just snip through your seam allowance there. And that's not going to unravel it. It's everywhere. not going to unravel, okay. no, that's fine. And then when you fold it over, you've got half your seam allowance going that way and half it going that way. There we go. Can you do, you see? Want to, do you want to take it, take it to the Let's machine, take it to Jules? The machine. Let's show everybody. There you there. go. So we've done a little tiny snip. So it means that I can push some seam allowance that way yeah. and some seam allowance that way. And then when I fold it over, it flattens out that seam. So it means that we've got the seam allowance, part of it going one way yeah. and part of it going the other way. Nice. Again, reducing that bulk. Quilting. Yeah. 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 You see, so, and people say that there's no, there's not the um, oh, the crossover. And there really is. Oh gosh, there is. It's all sewing, so you know you're all kind of the same kind of techniques. You're just transferring over, aren't you? Dressmaking is just quilting with bigger seam allowances, isn't it? Really? Yeah, pretty much. There we go. So we've given that a press. Yeah, and but I've something done you can wear out in public because people look if you just go out and. Be wrapped, wrapped up in a quilt, yeah, 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 yeah might yeah, look yeah. a bit dodgy, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I just expect you to have a lem sip to hand or something, yeah. So, I've done the same thing, oh, yeah, you can really see in it, yeah. there. Mm -hmm. So, if I hold that up there, you can see what, I've, what nice. I've done, yeah. So, that makes it easier. So, when we do the cuffs, this again, I'm not going to pin. What I know, I'm not going to pin. What? It makes it so much easier if you don't pin. I know it goes against everything that you'd think, but actually it really does. Okay. You so, sure about this? Yes, I am. Because you know it's live and everything. Yes. Okay. I speak the truth. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> it's so, out there for everyone to know now. I know. If you that's don't, it. You don't know. pin. Just don't no, pin. No, 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 no. Well, if you think about it, people when they're in mass producing garments, they're not pinned. Because no, they're doing true. a section at a yeah, time. Yeah, no, that's true. Yeah. That's true. Is that how it just works then in mass production? It's just like I'll do a, I'll do eight million sleeves yeah. all day. Yeah. So actually they'll be really good at sleeves that so might be really rubbish at making the rest of it. Totally. Totally. Yeah. So I'm gonna match up my sleeve seam on the cuff yep. with my underarm seam on the sleeve. Okay. Now my sleeve is inside out, but my cuff is the right way round. Okay. Okay. Yes. So, so we're just gonna tuck that inside there so suddenly it's right sides together so we've got right sides together right. okay and i'm going to make sure that the seams all match now we have got a little bit of bulk here again mm -hmm. but which is why we're not actually going to cut a huge amount off we're just going to allow the inside the outside edge of the fabric to look, run along the inside yes. edge of the blade now i'm not going to start on the seams. I'm going to start maybe about an inch or three centimetres before. Okay. Okay. And what I'm going to do is to angle it. So I'm going to, I'm going to come in at an angle. Right. And then straighten it off. Ah. Okay. Yeah, because otherwise sometimes it's quite tricky to get in. Yes. Yeah. The in a lot of the manuals and overlocker Should books. Should we try and tilt that a little bit for everyone to see a little bit better? There we go. Yeah. Is that going to be really tricky for you? I can sew, but I've just got my arms in the way. That's the only thing. Mm. Were we better as we were? Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. What I need to do is a body cam. Oh, That's yes. what I need. It's like something strapped here so that you yes. can actually see what I see. That would make life much easier. I'm okay. Gonna, I'm going to have to word, have a word with Charlie Bud about that. Uh, Lisa says, um, hi Natasha, I've just bought the black ironing mat and I have noticed that it looks like you're using it directly ironing onto, directly onto the cutting mat. Won't the heat damage the cutting mat? Um, so Lisa, I will be completely honest, um, not that I found, no. And, and I had this exact same conversation uh, with Alistair when he bought this to me because yeah. I said I cannot, I've just bought myself a super duper swanky, massive yes. great big horn uh, cutting mat. So that was my little um, redundancy treat to myself. Lovely. And um, and, I, and I'm, I really don't want to wreck it. And he said that he has always just ironed directly onto his cutting mat. And when you're pressing, I mean, I can do that directly onto there. Yeah. When I take my hand away, it's not hot. No, because it's just yeah. not hot because the wool yeah. acts as an insulator. It's such an amazing fibre. It really is, isn't it? 
So cool. So cool. No problem. No problem. Marvellous. But if you're worried, don't. Yeah. It's as simple as that. Or double it over. That's the beauty of it, is that you can just double it over. Yeah, um, so you've got a slightly thicker area yeah. to absorb the heat. Yeah. Karen uh, from Seams was here the other day with the hand cream. And... Um, she was saying that she want well she she's just got one so that she can because she's traveling a lot at the oh, moment yes. she's here and back and forth to the states yeah so she's like she's just going to roll it Perfect. into her suitcase yeah. because then she can she can use the desktops in the ideal it's that walk of shame isn't it when you need to iron I something know. and you're not quite <laughs> dressed because obviously you're ironing the thing you want to dress is it okay to go down the corridor in your PJs yeah. to the little That's ironing room one. at the end of the hotel mm. she doesn't have to now no she's super excited. I like that. That's good. Yeah. Right, as we were. Okay. So I've just got it started mm -hmm. on the overlocker. Now what I'm doing is because I'm not pinning, we've got such a short space here. Mm. Now I know that my cuff mm. is actually smaller than my garment. So what I'm going to do is stretch my cuff. Because it is a stretch fabric. Because it is a stretch fabric yeah, yeah, to yeah. fit the actual sleeve itself. Okay. But I'm only going to sew literally about an inch at a time. Okay. Because Gently we're going it. inside the circle. So you're going inside the cuff rather than having it over the edge of your machine. Oh, now Ali says, uh, can't you just put a little hem on the sleeve if you don't like cuffs? Absolutely. Yeah, there you go. could do. Yeah, yeah totally. Easy. Um, and Elizabeth says, cross stitch needles are brilliant for hand sewing jersey. There we go. Oh, well, there we are. Perfect. See, someone always knows. Yep. So all I'm doing is stretching the cuff to fit the sleeve and then making sure that I've got that extra bit under that I can see. Out of all three layers, I can make sure I'm seeing the bottom one. Right. Yeah, because you, otherwise you might not catch it. Exactly. Yeah, we well, don't want to be left with a gap because that's no. really annoying. No. Uh, Penn makes a very good point that you might want to just uh, lengthen your sleeve length a little bit if you're not going if you're just going to hem your sleeve. Yeah, could do. Or you could even put a casing and put elastic in it if you wanted to. Ooh. So you get a slightly different look then. All these ideas. Yeah. So I'm overlapping where I've stitched. Mm. Can't really see it on here, but and then I'm just going to let it run off. There we go. So we've got our little cuff is all stitched in. Nice. And because you always had your internal part here that you could see, yes. you haven't missed anything. Yep, that's you it. You haven't missed anything off. Yeah. Very good. Very good. So when we pull it back through, there we go. We've got a nice contrasting cuff on the end. Hurrah. Hurrah for that. Looks good. Looks mm. really good. It looks like a super cosy cuff, doesn't it? Oh, it's nice, actually. Yeah. And then we've got just the neckband to sort out. And we're going to do a similar thing. Oops, hello. Mm. On here. So in the same way, now this time we are going to pin a bit because we've got a bit of a, a bigger Steady circle. on, <laughs> Steady on. So we're going to find the centre front and centre back of your neckline. Okay, and do we do that by... Just fold it in half. The good yeah. old tried and tested fold it in half exactly. method. Exactly. Never match fails. Up, match up your raglan seams and then you've got your centre back there. So match from the seams. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. And we do the same on the front. So again, we're just matching from those seams and then where we've got the fold, where it sits in half... That's going to be our centre front. There we go. So we've got centre front, centre back. There and there. That's Perfect. That. Okay. So we can do the same with the neckband. So the back is going to be the the back is going to be the seam. Mm -hmm. So that's going to sit there. So is that going to go right in that's the middle? That's going to go in the middle right. there. Now there are different ways of doing necks oh now why does that not surprise me but there we go but this is an easy way you could do a factory way which is where you leave one shoulder seam open and we attach the neck binding in the same way that we did the pocket so you start with it hanging off the end mm. stretch it all the way around the neck band and have it hanging off the other end and then you do the shoulder seam so if you look at any commercial 
So the shoulder seam would then go up into the into and finish the up the. Ah. Yeah, which is another way of doing it. Okay. But it takes a little bit more practice because you've got to make sure that your neck band is even all the way around so that when you do your shoulder seam, mm. you haven't got a step with okay. a neck band wider than one. Which that one person that only does neck bands. <laughs> they, they get that down absolutely to a T, totally. What happens if someone's off sick? <sighs> there are other people that can cover. Really? Yes. To that same neck neck based standard that's it so we've got now have you ever worked in factory sewing or have you any of a i've worked in sample rooms but not a factory oh, okay yeah so sample rooms doing exactly that just making they're making up the samples yeah and then so <laughs> samples to then see whether or not it's something that they want to then go into production yep, with that's or it. yeah so when companies have sample sales they're all the things that they've tried and yeah either carried on with yeah, or exactly discarded. yeah now then, we're going to turn it round the other way because it's much easier mm -hmm. to have the bigger thing on the outside and the smaller thing on the inside. Yes, of course. So we want to turn it round the other way. So we've got the dresses inside out. Yeah, it kind of is a jumper dress, isn't it? It is a jumper dress, yeah. Um, so Lisa says, could you put the cuffs on before sewing the side seams? You could, you'd do it in a similar kind of way. Sure, yeah, you could. Um, I, again, it's down to a personal preference. Yeah. I prefer the look of a cuff stitched in the round. Right. Because it's smoother. But when you look on a lot of children's wear, because the cuffs are so tiny, tiny. They can't actually. Yeah, exactly. Like leggings and things like that. They're yeah. all hemmed first, and then the seams are done. Because you can't get oh. inside that little round opening. Yeah. There we go. I did. Them. I did. Well, I did wonder. I did wonder how that would how that would happen. Okay. So what we've got now, what we've got here, is we've got the neck band on the inside, mm -hmm. and we've got the garment on the outside. And you've pinned. And I've just front marked and back, just front and back, half and half. Yeah. Okay. Okay. If you want to, you can then make a quarter mark. So if you put your front and backs together, like that. And then you can find the other folded end, mm -hmm. and that will be your quarter mark. There we are. And then you can do the same with your garment, but it won't be where your shoulder seams are, because our bodies are not built like that. No, we would look a bit weird. We would look a bit weird. Yeah. So... It's going to be. So is it literally just a, a matter of going yeah. seam to seam and then finding that mid midpoint? Exactly. Oh, Martina's watching. Morning, Martina. How are you? Hi, Martina. You should see the beautiful quilting she's just done. She did the most exquisite dragonfly. Oh, wow. Free motion. She's got one of these big quilting machines, which she doesn't like to do with a computer program, so she just does it herself. Oh, God. Very clever. Wow. Very clever. Very talented lady. That sounds amazing. Oh, Tina's watching as well. Morning, morning, morning. There we are. So I'm matching those up. Now, th at this point, mm. I am pinning vertically because I just want to match points up. Okay. Okay. So we've got a quarter circle now that's got, there we go. So we've got the circle of the neckband inside the circle of the neck line right and we've matched up the quarters yes yeah yes so what i'm going to do now is to stretch the rest of it so that it fits and so that stretch is okay that will stretch fine so you can see how if i let it just sit relaxed the neck band is straight but the garments loose it's got this kind of loop here yeah that's that's your loopy bit that's isn't it, it there but and if that's I straight, that's it. But if I, if, I, if I stretch it, <laughs> then it, it kind of all fits. Yeah. So what I'm going and to do. And that's the joy of Jersey. It's also the bit that obviously everyone gets scared about. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It does stretch. Yeah. But that's brilliant because you can kind of ease it in. Does that mean it's slightly more forgiving? Yes. As well. Totally. Totally, totally. Okay. Yes. So what I'm going to do like is. We like a line bit of forgiving. We do. Line those up. And now I'm going to put my pins in horizontally. 
because these are going to be the ones that hold the neckband in place when I right. sew. I'm with you. Yes. That's it. And you just stretch it from quarter point to quarter point. Exactly. Lovely. Yeah, it's that easy. It's not it's not a rocket science doing this. It really isn't. Now you see Martina's on her lunch break. She's Ooh, in Germany. Nice. Oh wow. Oh, so that's because they're now yeah, in front of yeah, us, yeah. aren't they? Yeah, yeah. And Emma's watching in Switzerland. She's she's probably having her lunch as well. Oh, there's mm. people all over the place. I know, international. What can that's I say? Great. It's fab. It's all good. So this is done. If we'd got a bigger cuff, yeah. we would have done this you would exactly have done the same. same way. So it's the same process, just with a slightly different shaped piece. Now I tell you who we're missing this morning, Australian April. Ooh. Ah. Oh, I wonder where she is. I wonder what time it is over there then. Well, I don't know, be... but she normally cl uh, clocks in oh. and says good morning. Oh, that's nice. We've had people from Texas all over the place. Oh, wow, that's yeah, yeah, amazing. Yeah. I suppose it depends on time zones. If people are, I don't know, wherever you are. Or whether you, you sleep or not. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, this no, could be something thing. to watch if, you know, it's two o'clock in the morning and you can't get to sleep. Mm. Who knows? Now, Ali says, I noticed Jules has ordinary cotton threads on her overlocker. I do. Um, I thought you could only use cones. Ali, Ali, Ali. No, no, no. You No, no, no. You want to no, watch... No, um, no. You want to watch the show I did with Gary? It's on the website. And if you go to the Overlocker, um, then you can click on the link or yeah. you can find it on my YouTube channel or you can find it on Facebook on Natasha Makes. Up on the top, there's like a little band where it says posts and all that kind of stuff. And there's one that says videos. And that's where all of our past videos are. And mm. Gary and I did two hours with the Overlocker Alley. And um, you can use normal spools like that. Yeah. So that, that's just moon thread, isn't it? It is, yeah. Just, just moon thread. Basic poly cotton. Yeah. So yeah. we've got those on the website on a great deal for um, Speedway threads, which is the, um, it's coats, it's coats moon yeah. thread. It's just their, it's just their version they put in shops. Yes. It's exactly the same yeah. company. Um, and yeah, you can. You yeah. can use them like that. And also, the thing is, uh, what Gary was showing us, if you've got those, pop those in there. That will stop these jiggling They're around brilliant, actually, yeah. everywhere. They're really um, good. But they, yeah, there's lots of different ways to use those yeah. to make sure that everything fits, yes. depending on what size you're using. So mm. he'd lots, he'd, we went through all the different sorts of uh, things that you can overlock with, including fluffy nylon, which is my new found favourite thing. <laughs> no, it's good fun. A woolly nylon. It? It's got woolly lots nylon. of different names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But Brilliant. the nice thing about these is that you can have four of those for your overlocker and then one for your sewing machine and it's not going to break the bank. No, exactly, exactly. So you've got the same colour throughout. And then I just swap them around as well because there's always the, the one that loops over the edge yes. is always the one that you use the most of. Exactly. Whereas the straight stitch ones, the ones that are going through your needles, yeah. you don't use so much of no. those. So just switch them around yeah. and, then, and then you've got more longevity Perfect. with your thread. Exactly. I think that's a good plan. So we've got that pinned in now. Yes, we have. So we've got like we like you, you have. <laughs> yeah. So it looks kind of wiggly, but when we've stitched it, it will it's be going to be okay. It'll be fine. Don't panic. It looks so like a pie crust. It does a bit at the moment, but that's no okay. No offence. <laughs> that okay. <laughs> so you're that's okay. Rude, that's okay. Sorry, George. You're not criticising me. No, no, no. no I'm just thinking about lunch. <laughs> Martina's fault. <laughs> there we go. So we've got that. So you, as you can see, if I stretch it, it all kind of sits nice and flat. Yeah. Which is what we're going to do yeah. when we stitch. So I'm going to try and find somewhere now. It doesn't really matter where you start or finish, but I'm probably going to do it and try and avoid one of the, the seams. Okay, right. To the machine, Jules. To, to the, the machine. machine. There we go. So I'm going to run on again. So I'm going to come in at an angle. So I'm going to come in at, at an angle and then straighten up as I carry it's on It's like you join the motorway. Yeah, exactly. Isn't it? You're you just know, coming. you come off, off the side lane. That's it. And you come on to the main bit of the motorway is my best description of it. it totally. Whoever thought that we'd get onto motorway driving, eh? Uh, Tim says there are so many useful tips and tricks today. Good. Equally applicable to menswear. Yes, Absolutely. indeedy. Oh, Absolutely. yeah. Absolutely. 
And Absolutely. Wa watch this space for menswear. Uh, That's all okay. I'm going to say. Okay, we will. We will. Oh, Ali, we need to get you overlocking. You see, I don't think Ali's alone in having an overlock and being a bit worried about oh, using it. Do you know what? I have to say, it's we run a, a little three-hour workshop on Love Your Overlocker, and it's our most popular workshop. Really? Yep, it really is. People are so frightened of them. But once you get to grips with them, they are mind. an absolute joy and a bliss. They really yeah. are. Yeah, yeah. And if you're worried about threading it and, and budget allows... Yeah. Then go for an air threader every time. They are brilliant, aren't they? There's a hundred pound off it for you today. And I, you know, this is the thing, isn't it? I've been in a very fortunate position that I've, I've tried a lot. Yeah. Because you know that's been my job. I've had to work with all sorts of machines and what have you. So now that I'm, I'm set up on my own. You've got the go for the ones that the, I like. Yeah. That I really like. Yeah. 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 I don't blame you. Um, Ali says, brilliant explanation. Thank you. I'm sure I will find it so much easier with ordinary thread than trying to source or afford large cones. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, Claire's barely stopped using her overlocker since she got hers. Fantastic. She's just going like the clappers. Do you know what? You do. You, once you get it, you're, you're yeah. hooked and they are so easy to use. They really are. The modern machines are kind of designed to be helpful. Aren't well, they? I remember watching the show with uh, with Gary, and I remember her messaging in saying, "So, do I need one?" And we both sort of went, uh, yeah. Yeah. "Yeah, yeah, 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 you do, yeah, you do." So, all I'm doing with this is making sure that I've got all three layers lined up, and we're just taking it round steady, doing it a bit at a time. And that's okay. And that's bit it. That's bit. fine. Just yeah. readjusting as you go. So I'm just stretching it as I go, stretching it and holding it with my fingers. So again, I'm using my fingers as pins. Oh, well that works then, doesn't it? Yeah. I think we get a bit worried to do such things. Um, Elizabeth, hello, she says it's true. There is more to an overlocker to an over yeah, than just overlocking. Once you get it going, a few times. They are a joy. Oh, they really are, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So again, we've got that stitched in now. Nice. Very nice. So you've got a nice, smooth shape. And with a bit of pressing and steaming, it'll all sit beautifully flat. Now, the thing with jersey is you've got to remember not to overpress. Okay. Because it has a kind of a life to it, jersey. Right. And you don't want to kind of knock that not the stuffing out of it kind of thing right so this uh, is a good thing that i don't i don't iron that much <laughs> <laughs> ironing and pressing are two, oh, two different, different things. things yes yes totally yes. ironing is a domestic chore best avoided absolutely and pressing is integral okay to a quality finished item it really okay. is <laughs> there we are so we've got now with a bit of pressing that will sit beautifully flat there oh, and that's it and that's yeah there you go there we go. So we've got that neckline there. Nice. Nice, nice. Yeah. So again, you could... So do you press down? Yes. Right. So the seam allowance will go down towards the garment. Right. And then you could do your top stitching. Oh, okay. If you want to do yes. or your cover stitch, if you've yeah. got a cover stitch. And that Excellent. will just finish everything off and make it sit nice and flat. Uh, Ali says that she finds that her overlocker is so fast that it worries her. The trick with that is to dab the pedal. So rather than trying to do massive, great big hole, you know, inches yeah. of, of seam, if you just dab the pedal and just do a little bit at a time, you've yeah. got a lot more control over what it's you're doing. It's the way you don't want someone driving. Exactly. Because it makes you feel sick. Yes. But Think kangaroo petrol and you'll be fine. <laughs> it does make it much easier because you've then got a lot more control because you're only doing a little bit at a time. Yeah. No, you, well, you don't have to do, I mean, that's just, yeah. there is the temptation because there's... You just want to run. Room. Yes. But if you're not there, you're no. not there. No. You will be there. But um, only yeah. if you get it out and have a go. Exactly. Yeah. And most of the time when you're making garments, you're sewing or you're overlocking kind of tricky seams. It's very rare that you end up doing massive, great big whole lines. I mean, you might be doing something on a, a long skirt or a pair of trousers where you've got big, long outside seams. My pyjamas. Exactly. Yep. Yep. But yep. even then, it's much better to actually just dab your pedal yeah. so you've got a lot more control. 
I um, overlock quilts. Oh, cool. There, I can hear a gasp of horror at that. But a lot of the time, especially if it's a, something for a child, I'll yeah. put a fleece backing on it. And instead of having to do binding, yeah. all I do is right sides together, fleece, quilt top, overlock around the edge, yeah. turn it through, just fold over where I've turned it through. And then I will top stitch where yeah. the seam is, which basically then gives me um, a bound edge yeah. sort of effect. Because you've got done. that little bit of extra bulk there, haven't yeah. you? It gives you a yeah, ridge yeah. to yeah. work with. Yeah. yeah. So it's then, like and I just use a zipper footer against it. Yeah. Round. Perfect. Um, and it's just it's the easiest way. Yeah. Um, if you if you don't like binding your quilts, which I don't, no. I just put a bit of sashing on, so I've got a bit of extra sashing away yeah. from, and then it's done. Sounds Boom. like a plan to me. It, I'm a cheat. I, I don't have time. For I like shortcuts. Well, though. yeah, I don't shortcuts are good as long as you get a nice result at the end of it. There are times when you want to go through the whole process. Of course, there are. But when you just want something quick and easy, yeah, then bang, just do it. Just do it. Yeah, totally. Perfect. This is looking fabulous. Let me just hold this up. Let's <coughs> see what, what size. I mean, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if this one's coming home with me or not, or not today. <laughs> it's good. It's very good. I like it a lot. You're going to be making so many of those. You really are, though. I mean, look at it. It's Lovely. a really nice one to do, actually. I yeah. love it. No, comfy, cosy. And then let's have a quick look again down here. This is, this is the base bit that has, whoop, there. And so there's your front bit. So you get that nice little stepped feature. Ah, fabulous. Thank you so much, yeah, That's good, that's great. It's been nice to be back. What are we going to do next month? Um, to be perfectly honest, I haven't quite decided. Okay. But you and I will have a conversation, I'm sure, okay. about that. So okay. people will know in advance of what we're going to do. Are we going to try and do that then? We will we... try, okay. yes. Okay. I can't, yes. She says. You know, not, not to put any pressure on you on, you know, on, on TV or anything, but... Um, <laughs> we are coming to show season at the moment, so it is it's, a little bit busy. It is, yeah, yes. it is manic out there. But mm. if possible, we will get it up in advance so yeah. that if you want to buy in advance and have a little sew along... Yes. So just, But we'll send that in one of the emails or whatever if we can set mm -hmm. that up in time. Uh, it means we've got to be organised and have fabric sourced, etc. We've got to be organised, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you so much. No, it's been, it's been my pleasure is on the website. Details down there, natashamakes.com. You will come yes, to the landing. Is. Yeah, that's what you're looking for. The Paulina. Paulina, that's Paulina. her name. Paulina, um, she's there. Do take a look. Um, the fabrics that we have sourced that we found are suitable for this, because that's the other thing. I don't know, I mean, you, you know fabric, but sometimes walk, it's like, you know, mm. walking into any kind of specialist shop, yeah. if you're not quite sure, it, yes. it can be really daunting. It can daunting be really daunting, absolutely. To yeah. use the car analogy again, you know, if you're not into cars yeah. and you walk in and, yeah. you know, what oil do you put How in your car? How do you car? know what you're choosing? Exactly, you know? exactly. We so do put on the back of them, we have got fabric suggestions on the back here. Yeah. So if in doubt, you could ask who take, are, you know, they have to take it with you and ask the people who work yeah. in the store because they should know what they're talking about Absolutely. and they'll be able to point you in the right direction. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, the overlock is £100 off on the website. Uh, we have uploaded some more of the mats because they were about to sell out. Oh gosh. I know, I know, I know. So we've uploaded another, another load today. Um, but again, they're flying. Mm. What else to tell you about? Tomorrow, um, we are reaching the end of our... We've, we've had a bit of a tilde time of it. Oh, I can imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, tomorrow, in fact, let me show you what we're making tomorrow. Ooh. Oh, cute. Very cute. Version of this. Mm. Possibly something else. Oh, and the tote bag. Oh, yeah, I like and that. the tilde tote bag. Yeah. Sweet, isn't it? That's very cute. I had to wrestle it off my daughter. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Um, so yeah, thank you ever so much for watching. Thank you ever no, so much for coming over. It's been my pleasure. I really enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, have a lovely rest of the day, and we'll see you bright and early for Textile Tuesday or Tilda Tuesday, as we shall call it tomorrow. Oh yes. Yep, yeah, ten o'clock. This is where you'll find us. Take care. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs>